Oh, looks like I'm live. My my fat little fingers must have went and hit the button. I didn't mean to go live so fast. Definitely early tonight, that's for sure. Sorry about that. But I see my mom is on, and so is Sally. I will get myself set up on my Kindle. Boy, that just totally threw me off guard. All of a sudden, I see people popping on. How crazy is that? Yep, just like that. There I am. There. I'm so glad you could join me tonight on this very cold, very cold Wisconsin evening. Hi, Linda and Sandy Schumacher and Jeannie Mullen. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. I appreciate it so. Um, if you haven't figured it out already, my name is Cindy Ellers, and I, I am coming to you from the central part of Wisconsin. Today's date is January 3rd, 2022, and this is, this is number 93, Facebook Live, that I've been doing. So, that's kind of hard to believe I've done 93 of these, and I have some great cards to share with you tonight. I have um, a great card that I'm going to demonstrate for you tonight. So we should have a lot of, a lot of good stamping fun, I think. And, um, if you haven't already, leave me a comment. So I know you're here. When you leave a comment that gets you entered into my door prize drawing. And when you also share my video, uh, that puts you into another or prize drawing. So there's like two ways you can win. And I am really enjoying giving these door, door prizes out because so many of you that have won, um, so many of you that have won have sent me a thank you card. And I love seeing your creations. And there's some very talented stampers out there. That's what I'm thinking. Um, if you don't have time, to watch tonight's video, you can always catch my replay, which is on Thursdays on my blog. And my blog name is also Cindy Stamping Studio. And um, while you're at it, you can subscribe to my blog and it'll be delivered right to your email. You just look on the right hand side where it says something like follow by email, place a blank for you to fill in your email address and finish the um set up subscription and it's that easy so let's see who do we have joining us sherry martin thank you and linda just shared thank you very much hi arliss and rita so glad you could make it well we have a very cold couple days but when it's too hot to be outside or too cold to be outside i love being right here in my stamping room and today was no um was no different it was kind of funny um yesterday afternoon i was stamping away and i get a phone call and i've gotten finally gotten into the habit of carrying my cell phone with me in my stamping room because i can't hear it otherwise it's this little voice grandma what are you doing tomorrow I said, I'm just probably be stamping. And the little voice says, well, we don't have school tomorrow and we could stay home. But I'm thinking, I'd like to come see you. I think I would like to come to grandma's house. Well, come on, right? But what more can you say? So me and Andy stamped today. We made some beautiful cards and I have a couple of them I can show you tonight. And um, a couple she made on her own. So, um, she took them with her, but I got pictures of them. So subscribe to my blog and you'll see them. So hi, Tracy, Steven Krantz and Ronnie Kayser. Stay warm and keep stamping, right? It's the best thing you, best hobby you can have right now when it's so cold. Hi, Debbie Vine and Marsha Lynn. Happy to see you here. It's just, 
makes me so happy to see all of you tuning in. I appreciate it so much. Well, what do we have happening this week? Tomorrow night is our makeup night for our December kit class. Last Tuesday, I did end up canceling it, and we ended up getting four inches of snow that evening. I am so glad I canceled it. It was it was the right thing to do. Um, we have tomorrow is an exciting day. We have the January June mini gala goes live. We can start ordering it from it, and a lot of you should already have received yours if you're a customer of mine. Here's what it looks like, and then we also have the celebration catalog and that is good for all of January and all of February. This mini catalog will be good for all of um, from January to June 30th. Hi Courtney, Happy New Year to you too. I'm so glad you could all join me. Um, we have a technique class coming up next Tuesday. That's an in-person class held in Nilesville. But the best part about it, it is also available as a virtual class. The, um, the, I have it right here. I have, I always have an issue with remembering what we're doing. Um, oh yes, mirroring. We are going to do the technique mirroring. Really easy to do. Um, if you would like to get in on the in-person class, drop me an email. Make sure you get signed up. I have all three cards done and ready to roll. If you don't live in my area, the virtual class is the way to go. You will receive, um, you'll receive the three card kit, a collector's card that explains the technique to you, a cheat sheet of the different inks I used and stamps, which you can, they're easy cards, so you can easily substitute different stamps. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, and an unlisted YouTube video that only you have access to that so that when you get your kit, um, you can go and follow along and stamp with me or just watch the video and stamp on your own. So that works pretty good. So let's see. Hi, Bernie. I'll see you tomorrow night. Looking forward to it. No snow in the forecast. Thank goodness. And we'll have some fun tomorrow night. Oh, you've never done the technique, Linda. It is fun and it's easy. The only thing you really need is the silicone um, craft sheet pad that I was ta telling you about. And, of course, ink and stamps. Very easy card cards. And you're going to love this technique. It is fun. It's one you'll want to do again in the future. Hi, Kathy Bros. On this very cold evening. I know, right? Um, let's see. Um, tonight's card uses the Flowering Tulips stamp set, which is brand new. And you'll be able to order it tomorrow. And I couldn't wait to, I wanted to give you all a sneak peek. When you purchase this bundle of the flowering tulips with the dyes, the, that cost is $52.50. Just ordering those two things, you just earned yourself a free celebration set. We have some great stamp sets and papers in the celebration brochure. Okay, let's see. I want to talk to you about that, too. We got winners. We got cards. Where are my door prizes? They're here. Okay. I have, a, I have it wrote down. For comments, I have um, a card kit with designer series paper. It was from our last... Um, our last mini catalog that's done today. And um, it was called Blackberry Bliss or Blackberry something. And this is going to go to, for comments, 
Dana Stoddard. And Dana, you can watch your mail and it'll be coming to you soon. There's enough designer paper in here to make about 10 cards for sharing. Now, sharing is the way to go. Not that many people share. Maybe you don't know how or you don't have time. I totally get it. I understand. And, I mean, the odds are good that you're going to win. So, for sharing, we have another card kit. And that's going to go to Arliss Canoe. So, Arliss, I will put this in my bin for technique class next week. And I will make sure you get it. So, let's see. Hi, Lori Tresmer. Happy New Year to you. And hi, Nancy. So happy to see you. And Courtney, thank you for sharing. That's wonderful. I'm going to put this right back here so I don't lose it. So now, let's flip the camera. And I can show you what I'm talking about. And, oh, for one more winner. For outside orders, these are for orders that um, you make either to me in person or my online store. And I give a $15 shopping spree, and that shopping spree is going to go to Rita Jacoby. So Rita, I will save this and bring it to te te Technique Class. And you could have a mini shopping spree on me. Okay, so I'll put that in my bin so I don't lose it. Flip the camera. There we go. You can see it's still dark out. I don't like that, but there's not a whole lot I can do about that. We'll just be patient. i got to put it up a little bit. There we go. There. As you can see, I have... A new postcode for January. It's right here at the top of the screen. It is one you would use when you make an order $150 or less. When, If you think about it, when you make an outside order starting tomorrow, you're going to be able to order from the new mini catalog and the celebration catalog. I'm finding myself right there. Here I am. I have to have that so that I know that it's clear. Okay, so I just wanted to show you. If you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. Also... Also, if you don't have a mini catalog and you would like to get one in your own hot little hands, rather than having to look online, drop me a line and I will get one to you. I will have extras at my technique class. Um, so let me know if you need one, if I forgot to send one to you. I mean, you know, it happens. I'm not... I am not uh, perfect. Um, Stamping Up will be running a special during the January to February 28th uh, celebration. You get to pick any two stamp sets of your choice um, from the any of our catalogs when you join my team. For $99, you get to pick $125 of product. So if you have a wish list, now is the time to join. There's no obligation. Get your $125 worth of stamping supplies. Get two free stamp sets of your choice for free. Um, it's a great, it's a great idea. Um, why not get the discount? Why pay full price? You will earn a 25% discount that more than pays for your shipping. So if you like to craft, this is the way to do it. Um, and I would love for you to be part of my stamp family. So if you have any questions, send me an email, buddy98 at yahoo.com. 
Oh, well, Arliss, I have Kellogg's. So when I see you at technique class, I will give you one. That is not a problem. Or if you happen to be out and about tomorrow night, it won't be so cold, I'm told. Stop in at Schmidt's. I'll have them along and you can pick up one there. They'll give you an extra week to look at it. And hi, Don Wazinski. So happy to see you. I'm glad that you have the time to join us. Okay, cards. I received this beautiful card from Kay Wire. She sent me this last week. I thought it was just lovely. I think Kay likes to make the slimline cards, which is just great. They're beautiful. I received this card from Lisa Souza. She's from the Greenwood area, which is not that far from us. So I'd like to get her started in stamping with us. I received this card today. Oh, it goes this way. I received this card today from Cheryl Merzinek from California thanking me for winning a designer series paper card kit. Okay. I'll put this over here. I received this card today. Isn't it cute? I love this. It's a thank you card I received from Dana thanking me when she won. Okay. And then this card I received from Debbie Vine thanking me for when she won. See, I love this. This has been just great receiving these thank you cards. And this um, stamp set that Deb used to make this card can, is bundled, the stamp set with designer series paper, and can be yours free when you place a $100 order. So it is a set that's in the celebration catalog along with this gorgeous paper. So thank you, everybody, for the cards. I appreciate it so much. Now, I don't remember. I have a terrible memory. Oh. And, oh, this was the card that Deb Vine, when she sent me her check for the paper share. And that's the other thing to talk to you about. The paper share order is going in tomorrow. You will... Um, I can start another paper share if we have enough interest. 66 pages of 6x6 six six designer series paper. $20 is the cost, but I need eight women to sign up. So if this is something you're interested in, um, I can get you more information on that also. Okay, so, so my December stamp of the month were these four cards using the stamp set encircled in friendship that's from the annual catalog and it was a great set i really enjoyed working with it and as you can see i came up with quite the variety of cards using that stamp set and i really liked how they turned out Okay, now, as I said, little Miss Andy was here today. So, I have no idea why we had to make a get well card. I don't, I don't have anybody in my radar that I need to, to send it to, and I didn't think she did either, but she came up with this card all by herself. I followed, I followed along and did what she wanted today. So, this is one of the first cards we made. And sometimes that's all there is to say and that I'm here for you. Okay, then it was my turn. See, she came up with this layout. She came up with what we were going to stamp. Then it was my turn. I picked the Flowing Flowers. It's a stamp set that you'll be able to order tomorrow in the new catalog. And here's the card. What can you say? Is this not gorgeous? I loved how this turned out. It's a soft stamp set. It really, um, 
It's just with polished petal. And I use the I use the dies. I use the dies. What is it called? Ooh. Here it is. Scalloped contours dies. Yes, scalloped contours die. And I love the font for that of the different um different phrases. We got a happy birthday, a thank you, just a note, I like you, time for a happy dance, and sending a card instead of a text. So, yeah, there's that set. I loved it. it. And this turned out so good. Even though Andy tells me all the time she is not a pink person anymore, I think because she wore so much pink when she was a baby, she doesn't care for pink. But... She was, she's a good sport about it. Okay. Our stamp set we're using tonight is called Flowering Tulips. Now, I know a lot of you probably will think, but we just had a tulip stamp set a couple years ago, and that's true. But these tulips are different. They're not the same as the other one. It also has matching dyes. Okay. And it's got some great words. No one deserves a happier birthday than you. Let today be the start of something new. Just thinking of you today. Love you so much. And happy Mother's Day. And a thank you. It's a great set. I'm glad I got it. I'm glad, also glad for another thing. I finally have time to play. So, here's a card packet. We are using Sahara Sand for our base, which is five and a half by eight and a half. Okay? This is our base. It's going to be an up and down card. And it's a fancy card. You're going to love it. We're also using Flowering Fields Designer Series Paper. And the first piece is four by five and a quarter. The second piece is one and three quarters by five. Okay. We can go and put this first piece right on our... I think Andy about used up my glue today too, but I have more. We can put it right on our card base. And... If I would have had, if she, she was only here till about four, if I would have had time, I would have had her do a Facebook Live today, but there wasn't time. It seems like we had, we hadn't seen each other for like four days, and she was just, uh, she loves to talk. Okay, so we're going to put this first piece right here. Okay. Now, we're going to take a piece of basic white. This basic white is five and a quarter by eight. We're going to take our cutting, and we're going to score this at four. And then, we're going to score it again at two. Just like so. Okay. And... And my bone folder is missing in action. I don't know where it is. Hmm. And I have, I should get more, I guess. I have a tendency to lose them. So this is how this is going to be. Okay, so we're going to take that and put that inside our base. But not yet. Okay. We're going to go and... Take this piece of one and three quarters by five and put that right here. Okay, now stamping. We're going to be using 
our double oval punch. We're going to use the colors So Saffron, Crumb Cake, Pear Pizzazz, Calypso Cora, and a very faded out Petal Pink case. I don't know why it faded out, but it did. Okay, so let's put that over here. We are also going to use um, a piece of, we're going to use a piece of Calypso Cora that I've already cut out using my scallop, scallop contour dies. So we're going to use that. We have that. Just saves us some time if I have it all cut out, right? We're going to then take a piece of white and we're going to cut out those using the Stitch So Sweetly dies. Okay. That's where we're going to stamp. Got to have that. Okay, so let's Let's do our stamping. Let's put this right here. Okay, so now we're gonna, I have, this whole room is total chaos. I have way too much stuff going on. Plus then having kids here today, it wasn't, wasn't very, um, it wasn't very handy, right? Okay, we're going to take our clips of Cora. Oh, your case. I know. I don't know what that is. I am not a huge fan of Petal Pink. There. I said it, right? I just, I don't like it. I, I don't use it that often. I guess if they ever did a color revamp, I would... They could take this one away. I'm not a big fan. But for this card, it's perfect. Maybe I'll start using it now that I've realized that um, Calypso Coral complements it so well. That's a very good possibility. Okay, put this aside. And get my... Calypso Cora. It's a two-step stamping. It's like so. And we're going to go and also use We're also going to use, okay, oh, Andy, Andy, okay, there. We're also going to use Pear Pizzazz. Ooh, I like to have everything all organized for you guys. And we're going to stamp our stem. She didn't do anything wrong. Don't get me wrong. It's just that she so, oh, this is so pretty. You know, and then all of a sudden it's my, um, everything is total, totally gone. There. So there's our flowers. Let me okay. Let me get the crumb cake. We're gonna go. And stamp our 
flower inside like so okay that aside We're going to use So Saffron, which I am actually using. That's another color I don't use that much, and I don't know why. Because it's very pretty. We got some little X's. Just to add, I don't know, dimension, I guess. There, that's good. Okay. Now, I... Don't need that anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. We, I took my rectangular stitch dies and cut out this piece. And put that there. I'm going to mount this right here. Let's see. I don't know if Deb Vine is watching tonight. I don't remember. But she was my inspiration for this card. So if you're watching, Deb, or if you catch the replay, this card, you gave it to me, and I thought, oh my gosh, I have to make this card. But she didn't use this stamp set. She used a different set. And then we're going to put it on here. So there's our layer. Okay. There's that. Yeah, that's going to be so pretty. I like it already. We are going to mount that right here. And I have to have... This card also ends up being a bonus card of sorts. You'll see that you'll see exactly what I mean. I want this to be right here on the second row of dots. Yep. Okay. I'm going to use my tear and tape. I don't know if you would actually have to, but it sure made it easy. And I don't have to worry about it coming apart. There. So there's that. Okay. Let's go and stamp. Let's go and stamp our inside. We're going to use We're going to use Memento Black for the inside piece. Mhm. Mm And I need, I need my, let today be the start of something wonderful. We're going to put the cover on that for now. I want my Calypso Coral. And my petal pink again, because we have to decorate the inside. Like so. And let us let us use the inside pink. Petal pink. There, that's our inside. So there, that part is all done. Now, one more step. Okay, remember how we did this? Now, I haven't done it yet because I wanted to show you. Well, hi, Baboon. So nice to see you. Now you're going to cut this out. 
with your um, embossing machine. And let me do that real quick. I don't have enough room to put it on my desk, but I'll show you what I mean in just a second. All ready? Okay, so I just run that through. And you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, she just went and cut the prettiest piece up. But watch. Not only do you, are we making a beautiful card, but we're going to get a bonus card out of this. So this, we don't need. We'll put that aside. This goes right here. Let's glue that down. Let's close it so I can. And then let's close the card. I went and I'll show you one I did. I've already, I just screwed that up because it doesn't line up. But I'll show you one that's better. So here's our original, oh, and then we have these beautiful bra brushed brass butterflies. You see, and I have it, yep, yeah, here it is. I have that ready to go. So let's just take a butterfly and, woo, there. Let's put a butterfly right here. And let's put a little butterfly right there. These brush butterflies are very pretty. I don't think it'll make your card too bulky either. Okay, so so I don't have it lined up right. I'm going to have to probably t take it apart and redo it. But here's a better one. See how it lines up and fits in there so nice and then we go and make a just thinking of you today I didn't do that with this one because I'm going to have to take it apart it would not go for me but our bonus card right we're not going to go and we're not going to be putting that to waste and I'm going to use dimensions And, well, the colors, this um, Flowering Fields Designer Series paper. I'm going to have to order another pack of it. I can plainly see that. They're be it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I think that'll work. And we're going to put that right here on the front of our card. In the meantime, I went and cut some circles and a scallop circle and an inside. We're going to go and get... The petal pink, right? Yes. I'll show you the other one I made from the other card. We're going to get the petal pear pizzazz. Yes, exactly right, Debbie. And that's what I did with the first one I made. I did it right through the front, like you said. And it turned out... Perfect, but the second card that I just made was off. So, yeah, I will fix it. Definitely live and learn. 
You wouldn't think it would make that much difference, but it sure does. I'm going to take, and this is another stamp from that stamp set. And I'm going to put that on here. And I'm going, since I used dimensions to put it on my card base, I'm going to just put this one, just glue this right down. And my message comes from that stamp set also. Just thinking of you today. And let's close this before I make a mistake. Love the paper. Cannot wait. Yes, the paper share order goes in them. I'm putting that order in tomorrow, Deb. Yeah, you're going to love it. This paper is so pretty. I, the, the tulip paper is just so, so gorgeous. It's going to make some very pretty cards for us. There. Okay. Almost done. So not only did I have this great fancy fold to show you tonight, but I also wanted to show you how you get a bonus card. And um, that works out pretty good. So we have this card and this card. And my original is this card that goes with this card. So two. And... The flowering fields is great. We have some other great ones. If you didn't get in on the paper share, drop me a note. And how does the other card open? Just like this, Linda. See, just like that. But it doesn't look like it opens that way. But yep, that's how it opens. It's kind of like a flip fold. But yeah, Debbie was 100% right. When you assemble these, you go and close the card and put your layers and your tulips right through the opening. It works. It works easy peasy. And I definitely, I didn't do it right. I'm sorry. And of course I use tear tape, so that's going to be... Probably a nightmare getting that off, but I'll fix that tomorrow. Won't worry about it. Um, but catch my blog. You'll be able to see both of them. It's just some really pretty flowers. There's some mango. There's also some, some mango tulips. And mango the rainbow colored, the this color, and another color. So, very pretty. And the brush butterflies, I like them too. So anyway, here we go. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. I guess chalk it up to nerves or chalk it up to putting up with kids today. Maybe that's why I screwed up. But, oh, oh, I didn't forget to tell you this. This card is part of the, this is the fancy fold card that we will make for technique class. So, now you've seen it done in person. If you want to get in on that virtual class, drop me an email at buddy98 at yahoo.com. 
um, buddy is B-U-D-Y 98 at yahoo.com. So have a great rest of the week. Thank you so much for tuning in and hanging in there with me. I will see Bernie tomorrow night. I appreciate you all and have a great rest of the week. Come back next Monday. Bring a friend and I will have another great card to share with you. Um, it'll be from the new catalog. So thanks again. Take care.